welcome to the channel and welcome to another Cafe Thursday where today we will be preparing in the Ninja Air Fryer non-fried fried Dominican fish grouper. So here are some of the spices we will be using on the grouper today. We're gonna have two tablespoons of that minced garlic, one teaspoon of all the others, except of course black pepper where you will use a half of a teaspoon. And the grouper that we got is from that Pescadaria JAP. So if some of you guys saw the post, we got an amazing price delivered to the house, already descaled and cleaned. So we didn't even have to worry about that. The only thing we are gonna do is we're gonna take these cute little fins off because we don't want those in the way because we do need to slit each side of the fish so that we can really get in that seasoning that you just saw in the bowl. So we're gonna make three to four slices on each side of the fish, deep in, go all the way down to the bone. And then you'll see what we're gonna do with those delicious spices. And the reason we're doing another video with the Ninja Indoor Grill slash air fryer that I use is because it's amazing. When you're making this fried fish, you guys know you would use two to three cups of oil, which is so messy and long and very unhealthy. Whereas the Ninja only takes maybe a minute, if that, to warm up. We're gonna be cooking it at 425. It's gonna take a total of only eight minutes to cook. The heat it puts out is very mi min minimal and there's no mess. And let's talk about healthy. These spices smell amazing and are good for you. So we're gonna really get them in there, especially that minced garlic, because that inside of the fish is just gonna cook through and just give it such an amazing taste that you're really not gonna need much else. The dried oregano and thyme in there is just gonna give the most lovely taste to the fish. Also, I like to put more garlic powder and onion powder for just that real tropical taste. Um, and there is a little sea salt in that one mixture that was in the recipe in the beginning. Now you wanna really make sure you get it inside of there. Just pack it in really well and get it on top of the fish. I'm telling you, this Ninja is a heaven scent. Um, if you don't have one, get one. If it's not Ninja, some type of air fryer, especially if you're living out here in the Caribbean, because the time you want to spend is not going to be the time you want to spend in the kitchen. You're going to want to spend it enjoying the weather, enjoying your day. And with this heat, you don't want to get your kitchen overheated anytime soon. So you want to also pack that seasoning on the inside because that's just going to cook through and just seep through that entire fish. It's just ridiculous how good this is going to taste when it's all over with. Okay, so now we have both of them seasoned, both sides and on the inside. We've sprayed the top of those with the Pam nonstick spray because when you're cooking in the air fryer, number one, it doesn't make a mess because it won't have the fish sticking. And number two, it's gonna make it just like fried. So we're gonna warm it up. We are gonna set it on air fryer mode and it says 390, but we're gonna actually bump that up to 425 so that we get a really crisp fry on the chick on the fish because we're only putting it in, like I said, for eight minutes. So we're gonna let that warm up. Give you one more look at the fish. And now it's hot, it's ready to add the food. So the side that's been the, uh, sprayed, you're gonna lay that side down first. And you wanna make sure, because they do both fit in there, that you're allowing enough room for the air to circulate around the fish to get it nice and crisp. And we're just gonna take and we're gonna slather the other side, spray it nice and well with the Pam nonstick so that we can get that nice fried fish feel. Trust me, you're not gonna believe how great this fish is gonna turn out. We're gonna let it cook for four minutes. And then after four minutes, we are ready to take the fish and turn it over. No need to spray it again. That one spray on each side is good enough. 
you'll see that it's already starting to cook. And look at that, the tail even falls off. The, the fish is just getting ready. It's still moist, but nice and crisp the way you need it. So you just wanna keep that air circulating between. So leave a little space and we're gonna cook it for the last four minutes. And I tell you, man, I wish you guys could smell this. It is amazing. So our time is up. It's ready to take that fish out. Let's see how our grouper came out. Remember, this was not fried at all, but look at it. Looks like it's fried. That seasoning stayed in there because you packed it inside and in the mouth of that fish. So we're gonna take that out, we're gonna plate it. We have some lime wedges to accompany it because you really want that nice, fresh citrus taste with the fish. And like I said, I wish we had Smell-O-Vision because it is absolutely amazing. So, as always, Thanks for sh showing up for Cafe Thursday. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Always hit that bell for notifications. Please give this and all videos a thumbs up. It's the free and easy way to patron the channel. And as always, we are gonna have all of the information underneath our videos. Thank you to those that have patroned our buy a cup of, uh, buy a coffee .com. And we will see you on the next video. Enjoy.